What is open mat and should new people attend? What is open mat time? If you're new to jujitsu, you're probably not familiar with the term open mat. You may have seen it on your gym schedule or you've overheard your teammates ask each other if they'll be there or not. You've probably debated whether or not you should go to an open mat session and you're wondering what you might be missing out on. What is jujitsu open mat and should new people attend? Short answer is yes, but you should expect to roll, spar. Open mat is a designated time for you and your teammates to use the mats as you'd like. There's no actual class at these times, so it's up to you to decide what to use it for. Most of your teammates will be rolling, drilling moves, practicing new things they've been working on, and generally being social, likely talking about jujitsu. Open mat time is a time when you can come to the gym and there is no set class, but the mats are open. Partners are left to your own devices. You can use this time for a lot of things. No one is going to warm you up or go over any positions, so you don't necessarily need to be there on time either. Many gyms have different open mat days and hours. Often, if a gym will be open during a holiday, it may hold an open mat instead of regular class. Some gyms hold open mats on weekends. Some even have a no politics open mat policy. My old gym used to do this, and my coach allowed anyone from any gym to come and train on those times and days. What to expect at a jiu-jitsu open mat? Lots of rolling. That's mainly what people go to open mat for. You will see some drilling and some talking as well. You may also be asked to be someone's grappling dummy so they can try something new they've been working on. Occasionally, your instructor might show a move or ask a visiting black belt to show something. This would happen from time to time at our old gym. Sometimes at open mat, you might even have visitors drop in then you'll have someone new to roll with. You can also check other gyms open mat times and see if they allow visitors as well. If your gym has rules on new white belts rolling and you haven't started sparring yet, you might want to check with your instructor before showing up to an open mat. I started at a gym where everybody rolled. It didn't matter if it was your first day. If you wanted to roll, they let you. I know not all gyms are like that, and if your gym has certain rules about how long you need to train before you can roll, open mat might be closed to you, so check beforehand. If you're new and don't feel comfortable rolling yet, you might want to think about holding off on open mat until you get more used to sparring. How can you benefit from going to open mat? Get to know your teammates. Some people are all business when it comes to jujitsu. I know I can be with my busy schedule in life. I don't really have time to hang out and socialize at the gym as much as I'd like to. At open mat, I'm able to talk with my teammates and get to know each other better. At normal classes, there just isn't enough time for me to do this. Usually after rolling, I have to head out. Since open mats are usually between one to two hours long, after a few rounds of rolling, you'll find yourself resting and more than likely chatting with your training partners. Sometimes after an open mat session, you and your training partners might go out for drinks or food afterwards. Once in a while, although not true for every gym, there may even be drinks and food at your open mat session. The first gym I went to would occasionally have barbecues during their open mats. Those were always fun. Get advice on your game. Open mat is one of the best times to ask and seek advice on your BJJ game. I think this is one of the best things that you can use open mat for. If you're having a hard time in a certain position, go and ask someone to put you in that position. You can ask people to show you what to do from a position that you don't understand or often struggle with. You can also ask a higher belt to show you that move they always catch you with. Ask them what it is that you blatantly do wrong every time you roll with them and how you can improve on that. You can even ask your professor to go over the move that he taught earlier that week that you may have forgotten a step to. Maybe you tried the move and got countered. Ask him what to do next time when that happens. Experiment with that new technique that you've been wanting to try. Just like you can ask someone for advice on your game, you can also try something you've been wanting to work on. We've all seen that move on YouTube that makes us think, hmm, I wonder if I can catch someone with that. Well, go and try it on someone at open mat. You can try to do this during a live roll or ask a training partner to be your willing victim while you work through the steps. A lot of times people are interested in learning new things as well, 
It's possible that they watched the same video as you did and were curious too. Just ask someone. Mind if I try this on you real quick? I don't think I've ever heard someone say no to this at an open mat. Visit other open mats to get new people to roll with. I mentioned earlier that our gym had an no politics policy for open mat. We were a competition focused school and we loved getting new people to roll with. Our coach also encouraged us to cross train. Dropping in at other gyms is something you should try to take advantage of. You can do it in your own city or when you're on vacation. Always make sure to check a gym's website or call to make sure that it's okay to drop in. Also, be aware that some gyms might have a drop in fee. Make sure to check out Open Mat next time and get some good rolls in. It's guaranteed to be fun. Let us know what your favorite thing is about Open Mat. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this audio blog, you can check out the written version at letsrollbjj.com. Please like and subscribe.